Now the idea of fitting the mask correctly is incredibly important with bi level. How much surface area of the mask makes contact with the patient is also going to determine how big the leak is. So we don't want to use a mask that is oversized or overhanging the patient's face. Using the size guide, rip them off. Excuse me, I'm just going to fit you for a mask today. Now the bottom of the mask should fit under the lip with the top covering the bridge of the nose. Let's have a look at the large. So now this is starting to get into the eyes. Having a leak into the eyes is also an infection risk. And it's going to be uncomfortable and prevent the patient from sleeping. So in this case, too hot, too cold, and this one might be just right. Okay, so here we go, remove the straps. And let's have a look. In this instance, I can see the bottom of the mask going underneath. If you could lean forward for me, this around. Now if I could get you to hold that mask yeah. tied onto your face for me, I can adjust these straps. Just adjusting loosely initially, and then to get symmetry, pull both the straps at the same time. Now the mask should be firm so that it doesn't fall off, but it shouldn't be so tight that the seal looks like it's bent. And again, gently placed on the patient. Could you turn your head from one side to the other side for me? Just going to check again that this nose thing looking a little bit bent. Now this part can get bent a little bit more forward or a little bit more back. I think we'll leave it like that. Once confident that the mask is well fitted and the circuit is complete, exit standby mode and commence NIV. Remember, do not disconnect mask from circuit or remove mask while machine is switched on.